Hi everybody, it is the middle of the night here in Vancouver. Um, I think it's like one o'clock in the morning or something <laughs> when I'm posting this video. Um, and this is the last presentation of today. So this um, whole mini catalog launch has been amazing. Um, thank you to everybody who volunteered to present. Um, you were all awesome to work with. Thank you for everybody who's watching. I think I was messaging some of the presenters during the day today and I was like, this is crazy. I've done a few of these events now and this has been the most engagement we've had, the most people that have been watching, the most people commenting and you've all been awesome, um, encouraging our presenters, sharing your ideas. I love it. Um, I am going to do a little bit of stamping tonight. I know we're all tired, so this probably won't be a super long video. Um, and while I'm doing that, I'm just going to mention a few little things. Um, there are going to be some other events coming up. Um, Kara Paisant and I are putting on a class on holding classes. Um, so that's going to be coming up in September. Um, and I'll post um, a little reminder about that later. But if you're interested in that, um, contact Kara or I to register. Um, then we also have... World Card Making Day coming up, which is going to be an event just like this one. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a theme of uh, multiculturalism. So similar to the event that we did last year, um, everybody who's presenting is going to share a little bit of a different culture. And I'm super excited to do that again. Um, so if you're interested in presenting, um, let me know and I'll make sure that you get on the list. And uh, I hope to that we I hope that we will have at least 24 hours worth of content because that's always really fun. Um, and uh, stay tuned on my page, The Crafty Medic, for uh, more details if you want to watch that. Um, what else do we have? Oh, Onstage is coming. Um, so I'm not going to be going to Onstage in Vienna, um, but if you're coming to Onstage here in Vancouver, BC, we will have an in-person um, kind of pre-party that we're going to do on the Friday night. And then on the Sunday, we're going to do a virtual one. So again, stay tuned for details on that. Follow me um, at The Crafty Medic or join Crafty Collaborations. Okay, on to stamping. I am gonna be using the Cottage Wreath stamp set. And I really like this one. It does come with a set of dies as well because you can kind of use it for a bunch of different um, occasions. So what I'm gonna share with you is I'm going to actually show you what the Prize Patrol is. So because we're all over the world, I can't send Stampin' Up! product out. So what I've done is I've made my own little prize. So this is what um, all those Prize Patrol winners are going to be getting. And if you don't recognize this, um, I'm going to show you something really cool and hopefully blow your mind. And if you recognize this shape, um, then you're probably getting really excited for me to put this together with the Cottage Wreath stamp set. So what this is, and I've got one in my Stamparatus already, so I'm going to show you, is it's a template to use with your Stamparatus. Um, and what it's going to do, it's going to help you build a wreath. So this stamp set does have a few um, wreaths that you can just stamp on their own. And then, of course, the dies as well that um, cut out the wreaths. And I'll show you some cards made with those afterwards. Um, but this is, you can make a wreath from any stamps. So that's super exciting. I'm going to use this little... Um, evergreen sprig stamp here. Now what we're going to do is I've got a three and a half inch by three and a half inch square piece of cardstock in here and we're just going to turn this in the template as we go. So what I need to do is I need to place this somewhere um, on here and I like to use kind of these lines as a guide as well and you can kind of do it anywhere you want. But an extra tip, I know I want to cut this out with a specific circle die afterwards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this circle die kind of in the middle-ish. And then I'm going to use that as a guide as well because I don't want to go outside of that circle. So I'm going to take my stamp and I'm going to kind of move it to the edge of that circle and uh, kind of put it in the middle of um, where my squares kind of line up. Then I'm going to mount this onto my Stamparatus plate. All oh, this is going to fall apart and that is okay. Put this back in here and now I'm going to stamp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my soft succulent ink pad 
And now if I were better prepared, um, I would have grabbed some Stampin' Spots. If you're like me and you have a stash from your paper pumpkin kits or from the catalog, um, then you can use your Stampin' Spots. And that actually works really well for this um, kind of stamping where with the big ink pads, you're gonna just get ink everywhere. And I'm just kind of okay with that. Um, as anybody who has seen my house, has seen my craft room, you know that I'm okay with a little bit of mess. Alrighty, so we're just gonna go all the way around. And in this one, I'm turning it just that, what is it, I guess an eighth of a turn each time and then stamping. And you can do this with different sizes as well. Um, if you make your own template, the one that I've made here, it's specifically for a three and a half inch piece of cardstock. Of course you can stamp smaller, um, but if you wanted to go bigger with this template, you couldn't. And that was just for ease of material handling, let's call it. Um, that I went with that size. We're going to take that plate out and now we're going to put in another plate and what we're going to do is we're going to fill in, see how there's some gaps with this stamp and that's just the way this stamp set is designed. I'm going to put in these little holly berries. So we're going to put those in and then we're going to stamp these in real red. So again, we're just gonna go around an eighth of a turn each time. And that is going to get us some adorable little holly berries on our wreath. And of course, all of these instructions are gonna be in our tutorial bundle, which I'm super excited. I think it was, was it Bonnie that um, had the brilliant idea of doing it as a fundraiser for Doctors Without Borders um, or in my butchered friend, Médecins Saint Fontier. Fontier? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm sure somebody will correct me. Um, and uh, so that's for sale for $15 Canadian, which is already super affordable. You get the PDF and we are going to be buying um, food for um, Doctors Without Borders to distribute, which is awesome. Um, we've already raised a bunch of money and I'm super excited. I'll share the total with you after. So now what I'm doing is I'm going in with the little holly sprigs and because I don't want the wreath to look like it's like all exactly the same. I'm just adding some little holly sprigs, just stamping them kind of however I want to. So even though we've used the Stamparatus and we've used the template to make the wreath, it's going to have some variation to it. And that's uh, just kind of one of my little, little things that I like doing because then it doesn't look like you used a template even though you did and everyone's going to be like oh my gosh how did you line those up so perfectly because it's not it's not totally perfect like you, it's not all one stamp and you can be like aha but i did use a template all right so now this is done um let me put that aside before i drop it again i've dropped my stamp it's about 12 times already today and then I'm going to stamp this Merry Christmas greeting just smack in the middle there. And then I'm going to cut this out with that die that I had there. So you can see now my whole wreath fits perfectly in that die and I can do whatever I want with that die cut through the magic of television. This is, oops cards are sticking together. This is the card I made. So I did some, um, took my sponge brush here and I brushed on the background a little bit. This is just a white card base um, with uh, soft, what is it? Soft succulent. Oh, you can tell it's getting to the end of the day. Soft succulent. And then this is some soft succulent cardstock here. 
that um, I used with the scalloped circle to die cut to layer that circle onto. And then I just used the um, enamel effects in white to add some little dots around. I could have added it to the wreath. I decided to just do it along the outside. Um, and this is a really cool little paint, I guess. They're huge bottles, actually. Usually these bottles would be like half as big. Um, and you just kind of squeeze very gently and just put a little dot wherever you want a little dot of pearl and it dries hard um, so that's a great way um, a super affordable way to add a little bit of glitz and texture and I'm going to show you some different cards that use the other two colors that it comes with. So it does come with real red as well, which looks pink in the bottle, but it does dry to real red. And then there's a black one as well. So there's those three colors and I'm gonna show you. So this is more kind of a simple stamping card that I've just used that wreath stamp and then put those pearlized effects over top. So this would be a super easy card to just mass produce. Um, you've got two stamps that you could totally just freehand stamp that, um, or you could use the Stamparatus, and then it's just layered onto a layer of cardstock, um, but still simple stamping. And then I did another one with those die cuts, and here I've just layered the die cuts in Soft Succulent and Evening Evergreen, and then used the white to add kind of like some little mistletoe berries on there. And then the background is embossed with brick and mortar, which I think is appropriate to hang a wreath from. And then just a simple little banner for the sentiment. And of course you don't have to do Christmas wreaths with this. That's what I really liked about this set is that you could do different ones. So like for spring, these were all done with the template. I used, where did my stamp set go? And I'll show you exactly which stamps I used. Um, oh, it's under here. I put a clear piece of plastic over it so I couldn't see it anymore. I used this sprig here and it makes this nice, very even wreath when you actually do it as a circle. So that was super exciting. It's like a laurel wreath almost. And then these are just die cuts from the teacup set. And uh, then with some of that white enamel effects on there. So that would be a little springtime one. And then here's one for fall. So I used the little oak leaves and I did with this one, what I did was I alternated colors. So I actually did quarter turns each way for the two different colors. And then I plugged in the little acorns, um, just kind of freehand stamping and then added some of those metallic elements in there. And then I used the little bow here and I made, this would be super cute for like, um, a baby shower invitation or even like a pregnancy announcement, something like that um, with the little bows. And then on here, it's kind of hard to tell, but I added the little heart embellishments on there. And then I am going to give you a bit of a warning. I did use the spider to make kind of more Halloween wreath. So if you don't like spiders, look away. Um, but I did the same thing. I just stamped them in black all the way around to make a little circle of spiders. And then I used the black uh, paint to put little dots in between. So those are those. And then of course my Christmas wreath here. And I'll put all my cards out again. Woo, that one I smudged, oops. We'll cover it up. Okay. So those are my, oops, and kick the table. Okay, it's time for me to go to bed. Um, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, stay tuned for those um, upcoming events. Follow me um, at the Crafty Medic, or at Crafty Medic, I think it is. Um, you can find me on Instagram as well. Um, sign up for my newsletter, whatever you want to do. Follow me on YouTube. Um, and we'll see you at the next event, which will be October 1st for World Card Making Day. Okay, good night. Happy stamping. 
and we'll see you next time. Bye.